Hello Magic Pack. So today we are unboxing our brand new generator and hopefully gonna get it started. If you are new around here, we are mother and daughter and we have been living full time in our schoolie traveling the US. We recently bought off grid land and we are now building a homestead from scratch. So I have to admit, I at first bought a used generator off Marketplace and I kind of trusted the guy that he was being honest. I paid $400 for a used generator that did not come with the propane hose that I really wanted like this to be able to run the generator both gas and propane. Not to mention it had a broken motor mount. That right there was a big lesson learned. I had no business buying a used generator when I know nothing about fixing them. I luckily got all but $20 of my money back and I had him bring it to me and pick up the generator. I then turned around and did some searching and found the best generator for the buck, which was in the $500 price point, was this Westinghouse. It is a dual fuel, it's 4,600 watts, and it comes with this key fob, which is a remote electric start. And that was one of the number one reasons why yeah, I chose fun. this one. <sighs> and get into the shade to do this. So I just have set it underneath here kind of half on my bricks and half not. I probably should get the other one. Let me do that. It's really, really easy to lift this with the handle. So excited. It's shiny. It's brand new. Everything looks really good on it. So because it got shipped dry, I was able to easily tilt it up and put the feet on as soon as I got the wheels on and pinned on and moved over here to the shade. I had a little problem with one of the threads, but I just continued and so it went the through. Whole reason I bought the used generator to begin with was because I didn't think I could get it here from the store, get it unloaded by myself and get it connected. I've realized I can do absolutely anything. Once the guy helped me get it into my car at the store, I could get it out, get it on its wheels, and get it connected. And I have an extended four year warranty and I've spent $500 total on this generator. It's got an electric remote start. Um, it's running plenty of ampage to run a 15,000 BTU air conditioner and mine is eight. So we'll only be running half load with the AC going. I think this should be plenty sufficient for our needs out here for right now. And it's taken me less than 15 minutes to get this connected. I'm gonna go ahead and get the oil put in it. We're gonna get it connected to propane. We'll see if it fires up. Oh my gosh. Whew. What a difference in AC bakes. Literally within about eight feet of the generator. That's how loud it is. It's right there. I didn't have extra gasoline. So I went ahead and hooked it up to my propane tank. It was super, super easy. Oh, by the way, I've got to get some extra fuel, get some extra propane, so I'm gonna go put those by my car so I don't forget. What I love the most about it, day two, we haven't gone through a full propane tank yet. I just press this little start button and it starts and then it stops and then it starts and then it stops and then it kicks off. It's actually heating the recoil, I believe. I don't know. All I know is the dang thing starts every time. It's beautiful. And with a simple press of a button. I don't even have to go outside. It's dual fuel. It operates off of propane and gas. 
I have only been on propane so far and it has an automatic carb. This thing is like the Cadillac of generators. And no, this is not a sponsored ad in any way, shape or form. But if you're looking for a good generator that can power an AC, I highly recommend this Westinghouse DF4200. And this is how easy this thing is to start. I just had to change the fuel. That's it. it starts up every time. Like and follow for more. And here's our next video. Thanks for watching.